Hello, welcome to the Scale Model Club. And on this week's show, we've got something a little bit out of my comfort zone. That's right, it's a car. I know no one likes cars, but I saw this and thought you have to build it. It's a Mercedes 190E 2.5 Cosworth. Great. Hello, welcome to the Scale Model Club. And on this week's show, we've got a Fujimi's Mercedes Benz 190E 2560 Evolution 2. It's a lovely car, this, but with the Cosworth engine, always would have liked one. Um, don't often do cars, so this is a new one. I've, 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 it's a bit out of my comfort zone because I always send, tend to not, never get a good finish on the bodies, but we'll see how we go. So the side of the box has got some pictures of the car and the wheels. Other side of the box has some Japanese. That side of the box has a picture of the car and it's the same the other end. It's quite a nice box art actually. It's a nice depiction of the car. Right, let's get in this and see what we've got. Uh, everything comes packed in a nice plastic bag so, we don't, uh, so it doesn't get damaged. Let's move this out of the way. So here we have the windscreen, back window, side windows, uh, rear lights, tail lights. Uh, there's a little spoiler there that goes across the back window as well. I don't quite know why they put that in clear. Um, all the pictures I see, it's in black. So whether it's supposed to be smoked black, I don't know. But they all come good, Nick, uh, with no um, no flash or anything. So. Next, we've got the white sprue. This is for some of the spoilers on there, front splitter, a couple of the front hubs that you obviously stick the brake discs to. But it's all nicely molded, it's nice plastic, no marks, no flash. Don't know why I'm putting it all back in the bag, we're going to build it anyway. So next we have a black sprue. Uh, this seems to have the door carbs on it. Oh, two sprues in here. Uh, now originally, uh, this has got the door cards. There's a lovely effect on the door cards, like a, a, a textured effect that makes it look like, uh, like fabric on the door, uh, which looks nice. Uh, and it's all nicely molded. And here we have the the rear. Now, I was a little disappointed with this because when I bought the model, um, I assumed that it would be the road version because obviously that's what you buy. Um, but apparently it's not. It's it's like a race car version. So we'll have to build the race car version. You can buy uh, add-on kits for it to put the seats in it, but I'm not going to add to the model. We'll just finish it. So here we have the two seats. Uh, originally, the model is actually supposed to have a battery pack and it's supposed to be powered. But how that works, I don't know. It's not in the instructions, but it's blatantly obvious that's a battery pack. So the seats are nicely molded. There's a little bit of flash on the head on the headrests, but nothing you can't sort out. The under tray is nicely molded. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's all nicely moulded, so it's just a nice model, there's no flash. Uh, there's a nice little texture on the bottom of it. Um, but like I said, I was just a little disappointed. It comes with, um, I mean, I looked through lots of pictures after opening it. It comes with two different types of steering wheel and two different types of um, wheels, two different types of wing mirrors. So I'm going to build one that I think looks nice for me. So here we have the two sets of wheels. Now these are really nicely moulded in a nice silver colour too. So that's, those are the race wheels that would be on the, the DTM version of it. They're the brake discs. There's a lot of detail on the brake discs. I'll hold them up. Hopefully that'll... You can even see Brembo written on the brake caliper. So we'll see if we can 
get that to, to pop out with some wash. Uh, and these, the six spoke wheels, these are the wheels that came with it from the factory if you bought it. Which are also quite nice. Nicely moulded, nicely coloured. And here we have the tyres. Now this is the the other slightly disappointing thing about it. Now that we've got a, uh, the tyres are nice tyres, but they're they're slicks, and I personally would have liked treaded tyres. But you know. Uh, now this is, that's a cover for the exhaust, so you cut that in half and you put that over the exhaust to give it like a little, a little silver ends to the exhaust. That's a bar for the rear wheels if you were going to put the power in it. Um, let's just slip a tyre over a wheel and we can see what it looks like. Very nice. But like I said, if they were treaded, it would have been a lot nicer. And there's the six spoke wheel with the tyre on it. So they do look nice, it's good quality, very good quality. And here we have the body that also comes in. A nice little plastic bag, comes in white. Um, I don't know why they didn't come in black. Well, I think the cars themselves came in three colours. I think you could either get them in red, black or silver, but don't quote me on that. But that's nice. It's like there's not, not a mark on it. Absolutely a, a lovely mould. Can't wait to get it all together. I'm going to do my black like the cover uh, and in order to get away from the interior of the car which has only got one seat in it um, I'm going to try and have a go at smoking the windows because if we look at the pictures of any of these they've all got tinted windows so uh, we've got a small decal sheet here there's a band for the rear window a band for the front window uh, we've got a Mercedes badge and we've got the race stuff like the emergency cut off the fire cut off which I'm not going to use but they're not bad so here we have the instructions if if you're not used to modeling it can be a bit daunting because everything is in Japanese but you get a screw diagram make sure you've got all the right bits um, you get a little diagram of where all the bits go on the car where all the decals go and the actual instructions are very clear and very easy to follow so they're nice there's not many so we put the the hub brake discs and wheels together fit all those onto the front chassis the front chassis the front steering is quite good because it's got little notches in it and if you get it in there just right um, or when you fit it it means you can clip the wheels into certain angles uh, so then we have Windscreens, other bits and pieces fitted to the body and the chassis, the door handles, spoilers, all the rest of it. So there's not a lot to it at all. But like I said, would have been nice to have back seats and front seats. In fact, I would rather have had front seats and back seats than two sets of wheels. But anyway, very nice kit, nicely packaged. Thanks everybody for watching this. Um, make sure you all like and subscribe and come back for the next episode when I start putting it together and building it. Let's hope we can uh, do it some justice. So thanks everybody for watching. And I'll see you next time on the Scale Model Club.